Okay, so today we're going to cover our engine checks and uh, to remember what to check, we use the, the word wobble. So we're going to wobble our engine. We do this every morning just to make sure everything is as it should be. So in most cruising yachts, the engine is underneath the stairs here. So we need to pull back the clips and open her up. And in here we have a lovely Yanmar Y330. So a 30 horsepower engine uh, is all we've got. Uh, and our wobble basically reminds us of the things we need to do. The first one being W, and that is water. So this is our water filter. This is a raw water cooled engine. So this basically sucks water out from underneath the boat through this filter and into the heat exchanger. So we can see we've got some water in there. No need to open up. If we can see there's water in there, there's no weed. Okay, so that's our W. Uh, then we're looking for O, so we're looking for oil. Much like a car here, and here the dipstick on Nomad is over here. So we'll pull out our dipstick and we'll want to wipe that off. See, there's absolutely nothing on there at the moment. You see between the two holes there, we would expect to have oil at least half, if not a bit more, preferably. However, we should dip that back in and make sure, be a bit gentle with these, because if you break them, then they are in your engine, which is not good news. So all the way back in, like so. Out she comes again, and now that's lovely as we can see now we have oil almost to the top, so that's bang on the money. So we're happy with that. So that's the O of our wobble, and then we have our two B's to be or not to be. Again, being careful putting that back in, make sure it's fully in. So our B's, okay? So 1B is belt. So we have two belts on this engine. Our belt here, which uh, turns the uh, drive shaft of our engine and also um, charges our batteries via the alternator. And what we're looking for is a quarter of a twist on those in terms of tension and no more. So we just had this engine serviced, so these are all in pretty good order. Uh, our second B on here, you might not have two belts. Our other uh, engine is a Volvo and there's only one belt on the Volvo. Uh, there's two on this one and this one here is for our water pump. So this is our water pump here. We've got a rubber impeller in here and this basically turns that. And again, we're looking at about a quarter of a turn on there. So again, it's just been replaced and serviced. So I think that's pretty good. My hand's probably in the way there. Okay, our second B is bilge. Okay, so this is the bilge, this bit under here. And we have got a little bit of something in there. Uh, but what we're looking for is a nice, dry, clean bilge. And what we do when we do our engine check tomorrow morning, if there's anything in there, then we, um, we'd we obviously address that. Okay, if it's black, it's oil. Uh, in this instance, if it's pink, it's a coolant. And if it's uh, just water, then we'd need to check our water cooling system. So those are two Bs. So what have we got left? We've got L. So the L, I always say anyway, is just to look, be vigilant, especially if you've had an engine service. So look, and also levels for me. So this is our internal coolant. Okay, if I wobble that about a bit, you can see that it's a bit low, to be fair. So that will require some more coolant in it before we set off. Should be between the full and the low. And then we have our E. So a lot of people say electrics, but quite honestly, these are our electrics. What are we looking for? I have no idea. So no, for me, the E is exhaust. And that's when we turn our engine on and we look out the back of the boat and ensure that we have cooling water coming through our engine. So there'll always be an initial spurt because that's what's already sitting in the system. So wait and wait until you get consistent spurting water out of your engine. Because with these things overheat, it's usually when you're coming in somewhere and you're in close quarters and you finally need to turn your engine off, makes life a bit tricky for you. 
Okay, so that's our wobble.